live live and today i know you just guys had you guys had an amazing shout out to the person that just threw that like in there but it's not even showing that, that you're in the building that's kind of strange but i know that we just had a crazy show on politics today and i like to keep the platform um to where i have it you know where i'll discuss some things that's going on in politics and not only will I discuss some things that go on that goes on in politics, but I will also do reviews on things that I purchase that I buy. Let me move some of this laundry out the way. Um, things on um, on things that I purchase and uh, things that I purchase and I buy and I review. So I'll be able to tell you guys if they're good for you to use or not, and or my tarantula collection. So I'm not even going to hold you guys up. I'm going to get into my collection and then I'm going to tell you guys. Uh, I'm going to show you guys, I guess, on my TV because I'm not behind the green screen. So I'm going to show you guys some tarantula channels that you can actually visit that that's just pure tarantula channels. Some of them um, I've been since I've been in this hobby for around 20 years and I started my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, I believe it was in 2013, 2014. So initially, the first videos you see up there are about tarantulas. Um, so I'm going to show some of the people that I got a lot of my information from and, and everything else, but I want to show you guys my collection. I'm not going to be able to show you every tarantula because a lot of them are not out, but, um, we'll have future feeding videos, I guess that will come out, uh, come about and I'll be able to show you guys some of them, but, um, this is for tarantula keepers and these are for people who have inverts. And also if you are a subscriber to my channel and you have snakes or scorpions and you want me to actually um sh um actually uh show your animals on this platform feeding videos or to give you a shout out simple just send the video of your animal to bookintonyx.com all right simple so let's get into this all right up here i have an avicularia avicularia okay it's named lady and i have another in here that is uh, named Lucy. And then I have three other, um, well, these are mid-juveniles, and this is a juvenile in here now. And here I have uh, Pocatheria Miranda. Here I have an adult female, Pocatheria regalis. Here I have uh, Lymphopelma nigerium, Salmopomus ermina, uh, P. Poacher, uh, um, uh, uh, Salmopelmus plumipes. These are P. samazis. I have three of them. Why do I have some that are the same? Because when you purchase a tarantula, let me just open this one up and show you how small they are. When you purchase a tarantula as a sling, it's almost impossible to actually sex the animal to see uh, if the animal is female or male. Let me see if we can see it in here. You see a little spider in there? So that's a little spider with that little black rump. So... To, in order to to get the odds up or being able to get a female tarantula, you get more than one sling when you can. Now, these are two females. These are Hedyscaria maculatas. These are uh, boreal uh, tarantulas. But um, they also like to hide, too. They do a lot of webbing. Let me see if I could... There's one back there. And there's one back here and back of this cork bark. And that's uh, her leg. Okay, back here I have two Pocatheria Miranda, I mean, uh, Metallicas. This is actually a female. This is a, 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 a small sling that was sexed as a female. Uh, here is a, a Pocatheria Formosa. Um, I think it's a suspect male. All right, here we have uh, a Brachypelma smithy, and here's another Brachypelma smithy sling. I just kept it in the same dish because I just changed the substrate. It's pretty good after that. I have uh, another sling, which is a Brachypoma Classy. I don't have another one of these, but I plan on getting another one. Here I have my Brachypelma Homori, which was once thought as a Brachypelma Smithy. Here I have a uh, Brachypelma uh, Bomai, and I have three of them. So, um, this is a suspect female, and I have two slings in here. Okay, down here I have a Brachypelma aratum. If you can see, beautiful teeth, the enclosure. I, I try to, you know, liven it up. 
A black widows are definitely more dangerous than a tarantula. Is a black widow can kill you. A tarantula bite is not known to actually kill a human. And here I have a Brachypelma amelia, and it's in its in new enclosure. It was just put in here today, so it's in that hide in there. But this is probably, uh, well, all these tarantulas are my favorite tarantulas. Here I have a Chromotopelma senio bumbescens, and its common name is green bottom blue. I don't like to use the common names of tarantulas. Um, I use the scientific names because people are very anal online, and I'll get to that in a second for all you guys that are worrying about this or trying to figure out. And here I have an, uh, a, a confirmed female, Chromotopelma senior bumbescens, and she just webbed up all of this enclosure in there. And she's pretty, she's pretty, what's good, what's good? Salute, Mikes. Uh, she's pretty much webbed up in there right now. All right, here I have water on the floor because I give my tarantulas... Um, artisan water, and I also use um, reverse osmosis water. So these are this is like my baboon area right here. These are this is my uh, this is my Monocentropus balfouri. This is a female, and she's in there. I'm pretty sure she's about to find a, a boyfriend soon. I have a sling down here as well. Let me put this to the side. Okay, over there I have a. Saratogyrus. I try to make it easy. Um, so when I do future videos, uh, and I'll show you a guy that's online that I really learned a lot from, and he's a long time YouTuber. He's been a long time uh, supporter, and he's a great guy in Canada. So I'll give his uh, uh, I'll give his platform a shout out in a second too. But these are baboon spiders there, and this one here is a confirmed male. He'll be looking for love soon. Okay, here I have. Pelanobius, Pelanobius uh, muticus. This is a, a, a king baboon spider. These are uh, Terniculus moranuses, and these are just four of them. So I have four OBT tarantulas, and this is another common name that's used for these. So there are only uh, maybe four species that I don't mind using the common name because I'm trying to pronounce this Terniculus moranus is just kind of fucking difficult, don't you think? Excuse my language. This is not for children. This show is not for children. So here I have a pet hole. This is a Hapopelma minix, and this is a confirmed female, and she's basically always inside that enclosure down there. Always. Okay, and here I have two female Aphonopelma simanis, and I have a suspect male in here right now, and they're just really big diggers. They like to dig a lot. Let me see. Let me move these real quick so I can show you what's back here. Um, I already know that um, that the the E for E uh, E for uh, Bopis Moranus female is already out, and she's probably gonna give me a threat pose. And this is my former Pelma Calcodes right here, and she's out too. I gotta actually rehouse her soon. I'll be um, getting up soon to go get a a new enclosure for her. But this is uh, an American tarantula. It's common in America. You can find it here. She just completely dug her whole hide inside of there. Uh, I believe that I have 59 tarantulas right now. 59 of them. 59. Okay, and in here we have Shadow, my E uh, for Bopus, Moranus, which is not for beginners at all, period. You have to really... Um, know what you're doing to have this tarantula, but it's a real beautiful tarantula to have. So we're going to put this over there. I know I said I wasn't going to show you them, but some of them are out, and if they're out, then you should be able to see them. I have no problem showing you them. Um, here we have a Tiltocautal albopopus. Uh, it's, it's a common hair. It's called the curly hair tarantula. Um, and that's one of the species that I don't mind seeing or, or using this common name. Um, you see a lot of people use leaf litter and stuff like that. But since I buy my lady roses a lot and flowers and fresh flowers a lot, whenever the flowers die, I keep them so I can use them for inside of cages. Here is a Cachiana um, bur burnipes. Here is two Titicalo, uh verdezis. Here is a uh, Acanthoscaria genicolata, and this here is like a little monster. This one here, like, she will eat you out of house or home. She's in pre-mo right now, and if I drop anything in there, usually when the spider's in pre-mo, that means they're gonna they're gonna shed their exoskeleton. 
They're gonna shed their exoskeleton so they can become bigger. So, but this one here, her, this girl here, looks like she may need some more water too. Well, it's not that bad. But this girl here, she just molted, actually. I said she was in pre-molt. Look, she just molted. She molted, y'all. Y'all caught up, y'all caught, y'all caught the molt. Look how big she got. Incredible. And now I'm gonna be able to take that molt and for sure check to see if she's a female or not. So that's kind of that's kind of exciting. Let's put her back. As a matter of fact, before we put her back, let's give her some water. Let's just fill this this tank up with some water to make sure that she's a, she can actually get access to it. Okay, put some water in there for her. Cool. All right, now we put her back. And over here, before we put her back, over here we have uh, a Che to a a a Shea Topelma Oliviusum. This is a a spider that's found like in the mid Middle East. I'm gonna have to put some water in here too. You can see that the water is kind of getting low. I always try to keep it up as much as possibly as I possibly can. This is a confirmed female Hapalosa species, Columbia Large, and this is a confirmed male above. Before I take the sling off, this is a confirmed male above, and I've tried to pair them several times, but this guy just hasn't really got the juice. He has no game. He hasn't been tapping. So I'm gonna put the failures up there because I had to save his life. Like two times already because she tried to eat him a few times. But she's in fact in here and she's in her hide right now. She's not out of it. Let me see just to make sure. Okay, yeah, she's not out of it. But um, here I have a Grammastola Pocrypes, a Grammastola Acteon, and a Grammastola Rosea at the very bottom. And we just had a mold out of this one too. And here we have a Grammastola Pocrypes. This is just a baby in here and a sling. I try to keep the species next to each other. That way we know where they are, you know, at all times. Um, and, and, and species, I guess, that kind of live, you know, in areas by them. I try to do that, too, at the same time. We pretty much got through all of them, but we have maybe two more left that we got to do. And I got a feeding, a feeding video coming very, very soon. So this is the collection. This is what I have over here. And this female, I could get her and show you her, but I don't know if you can see her through the mirror. How do I check? Because when you have pocatherias, they don't like light at all. So how do I check if she's alive or not? Is I usually put a mirror back here, and I'm able to look in the mirror and actually see her there like I can see now. You probably can't see her. So, hold on. So... Um, what else I have going on over here? Well, my bathroom is no longer my bathroom. It used to be a place where I used to be able to soak in the tub and watch TV. But all of this stuff over here is all tarantula stuff. These are cages. So when we actually move the office to Texas, we have bigger cages for the last two tarantulas that I'm going to show you. Um, we have other hides and stuff in here. Uh, just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff for the tarantulas. Like I said, see, these are the flowers and stuff that I keep. They're in this bag here. Uh, gallon of, uh, six gallons of water for the tarantulas. Just hides, um, uh, plastic plants and stuff like that that will go in there. Other little enclosures. Um, just a bunch of stuff over here that I usually use for them. And for the last two tarantulas that I'm gonna show you, they are the world's largest tarantulas. They are the Goliath bird eaters. Okay, and that's a common name for them. And that's another tarantula I don't really mind using the common name for. But their scientific name is Therophosa sturmi. All right, so let me go ahead. Now, I don't use this on a plane or a train. I don't use this in a store. I use this because these tarantulas have urticating hairs. What does that mean? They have hairs that are like barbs. And they like to kick them in your face. And they can be very, 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 very uncomfortable. Trust me, I've been kicked in the face with their hairs before. And their enclosures are far away from the others because they like wet substrate. They like it like really moist. Um, why do I put these little pebbles in there? You don't have to do that. But if you have feeders that you're feeding your tarantulas with, then it helps so they don't drown inside the, 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 the bins. Here's... Here's uh, one out and about right now. Look at that booty. 
So and you can see, like, I try to keep the enclosures as close to, uh, you know, as I possibly can to their habitats. I do have live plants in here, but, um, but I also have springtails. I also have I also have springtails and um, what you would call roly polies inside of um, the enclosure because they're basically the cleanup crew. They will eat mites that will that are harmful to the tarantula. Um, they eat uh, some mold, not all mold, but they eat a lot of the mold. And I also breed my own feeders. Now I don't want a house full of fucking roaches, so I don't have like regular cockroaches. The roaches that I feed my tarantulas are called dubia roaches. So they need to have um, anywhere between 85 to 90 degrees, of, um, I believe is uh, Fahrenheit, in order for them to, to breed with um, one another to continue. So this is a colony that I'm growing. Let me show you. Hold on. So this is a colony that I'm growing. Don't like to touch them at all. So I have my own set of tweezers for them and you can see them just in there. And if you see something that's light, that's because they probably molted not too long ago. You see some crickets loose in here too. They seem to like to get out and get loose. But I have my own, this is, this is what I feed the tarantulas. And they'll be ready. See that white one in there? That one just molted. All right, so in here I have mealworms and baby crickets. Thank you, love, love. And in here I have uh, medium size to uh, medium large size crickets. And in here there is some organic lettuce that I'm feeding them. The lettuce has water in it. Yeah, the lettuce have water in it. So you're pretty much getting water and everything at the same time. Under the dubia roaches, you see that there is an orange down there, but I also have food in there for the dubia that is strictly for dubias. And I just put it down there like litter. See, it's at the bottom. Because the babies like to hide in it. It gives them space. They like to eat it all the time. And here is the mealworms. So I have different food sources for the tarantulas. And here I also keep more springtails. Because if I feel like I see... Um, an infestation coming up or anything of the sort, what I do is I just put some more springtails inside there. And this was what I ordered this off of Amazon, but since we're not ordering off of Amazon no more, you can still find these on eBay. So they work, they help keep the tarantulas alive. And like I said, they eat mites, mites that are harmful to the tarantulas. So, hmm, I believe that is about it for the tarantulas. That is 59 of these specimens. We do have a feeding video that I'm editing right now, but it's just like of the slings. It's not of any of the large tarantulas. Uh, I'm going to focus more once a, uh, once a month at least on a pure feeding video. We'll have all of my tarantulas outright murdering the competition. Get it? And um, I'm going to show you guys... Now, some, some channels that you can actually go in and watch on YouTube and learn a lot more about tarantulas. Now, this first guy that I'm going to click on, I'm going to click on his channel real quick after I can get this going. He's like, he is the godfather of tarantulas. Super fucking badass. I mean, super badass. All, all American. You can just tell. You can tell. When someone is a fucking soy boy and when someone is a, a is an all around fucking badass. And Tarantula Guy 1976 is an all around fucking badass. If I tell you somebody, you know, if I tell you somebody's a badass, they're a fucking badass, okay? Alright guys, this is update number six, and it's not one I want to do. Sammy passed away. Alright, hold on, let's go to his new channel. Let me flip it over for my brother. This is Tarantula Guy 1976. You can go to his Tarantula page, you can subscribe to his channel, and you can tell him that Mark Twain Tarantula sent you or Tony X sent you. It doesn't even matter. Um, when I do gun smoke, and I'm like, gun smoke, it's because of the Godfather here started off with the BAM. Okay, this guy here, above all Tarantula videos I'm gonna show you, I have a great deal of respect for all Tarantula keepers, especially those that are not assholes and that are not anal and they're not trying to be rude to you or mean to you but this guy here is the father the the godfather of tarantula keeping right here 
It doesn't get any. It doesn't get any realer than this. This guy has been doing this for the longest, and the most that the most of the information that I have, I'm going to show you the first two people first that I got it from. He is the reason why I found the fucking gall to really start collecting more tarantulas because I only used to keep maybe one species. He's about to show you a feeding video right now. He about to show you. He about to show you his tarantula catching a kill. Boom. You heard that bam come from him. This guy here is an amazing guy. You know, he loves exotic cars. He loves exotic animals. And he's he's very patient. You know, he's the guy that'll look out for you. You know, he's a guy that'll tell you, you know, what you're doing right or what you're doing wrong. And he's he's you know, he's somebody that in the hobby that I have, like I said, a fucking great deal of respect for, man. Are you just I can't I can't I just I can't explain to you who this guy is, but if you if you are a tarantula keeper, if you collect inverts, you know exactly who Rob C is. All right. So the next guy that I'm gonna go to is this gentleman here. His name is. His name is John. Hold on. Because and I'm gonna tell you the cool thing. His name is John thirty eight hundred. So his name is John thirty eight hundred, right? And. You, if you go to his channel, you see this is from 11 years ago. I still go in and I watch some of his videos from 11 years ago. All right? And you can actually watch him age via his YouTube channel. But for some people, you may, you may find that he may not be as uh, energetic, maybe, or as charismatic as you would like others to be or others that is on his list. But I'm going to tell you that out of all of them, he is the most informative. He has a tarantula series called Tarantula Mythbusters where he teaches you about the tarantulas, but he teaches you how to actually pronounce these difficult names, all right? This guy will respond to you. He will answer questions to you, and he's a teacher. He teaches a lot of young kids. Um, he has uh, brought young children on his channel to actually... You said you tried to add me on Telegram and couldn't find me. The link is in my, uh, is on my Instagram channel. All you got to do is go to the very beginning of it. The link for my Telegram is on my Instagram channel. I mean, on my YouTube I mean, uh, YouTube, no, it's, on my, it's on my Instagram. Go to my Instagram uh, and it's there. All right. So this guy right here will break down how to pronounce the names, um, the prices. And even though these videos are from some years ago, uh, a lot of them are very much so still relevant. Uh, aside from some scientific names, name, some scientific names that may have changed, this guy right here, and I mean, tell you, is spot on. I mean, he's fucking spot on, man. The guy's spot on. If you want to know, all you got to do is put in Tarantula Mythbusters, and it's going to come right up. It'll come right up. Um, so we're going to get off of him, and let me see. There are... Okay, okay so yeah. there are a few more, okay? There's a few more that I want to get into and I want to talk about. This female that I'm going to show you is relatively new to YouTube because I've seen her videos... Uh, they haven't, I've got tarantula videos that go back seven, eight years. Uh, I don't remember her being in the hobby seven or eight years ago. I think she's relatively new. It could be maybe four years, three years, but I really like her because she's very positive. She's never on here trying to discourage anybody. She's never on here trying to tell somebody how they should raise their pets or, um, you know, or anything like that. She doesn't take shots at anybody else. The girl is like really... A cool girl. She has a daughter. She has a husband. And she got a shit ton of cool ass tarantulas. And some of the videos are really, really funny. So, she's eccentric. She has different animals. And she's tatted the hell up. Her name is Tarantula Cat. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, this is a long time coming. I'm not going to lie. Of course, I keep tarantulas and that's like my main thing. That's my main interest. That said, let me see if I can get the, the original part of her. So this is like two days ago. She just posted something and she's posted something about her bearded dragon. So she says she's sorry, Jungle Bob. I wonder why, because maybe she just said something about him not too long ago. Maybe they have a sponge in their dish because they watched Jungle Bob's video and they didn't see mine. <laughs> I like Tarantula Cat. Hey everybody, welcome back okay. to my channel. I wanted to start 2021 off by talking about something that I don't necessarily regret, but something... Let me see something. 
Okay. Let me see what she's talking about. So this girl's positive. Um, the care advice that Jungle Bob gave. She's pretty much on every time she's on. The girl's positive. You know, she's cool. There are there's another female, and her name is Deadly Tarantula Girl. And she's out of Texas. And she has different inverts, snakes, and everything else. Um, she is somebody that I know have that that's been in the hobby for years. Just as long as I've been probably making videos, she's been making fucking videos. And she has a shit ton. Of uh, tarantulas. Let me see if I can find. Uh, maybe I'll have to type her name in. She has a shit ton of tarantulas and inverts. Um, again, for my followers, if you have tarantulas, if you have scorpions, if you have... Um, here's her channel. Here's Deadly Tarantulas. Deadly Tarantula Girl's channel. So, she travels around. She's pretty cool. Um, and she has some videos up there that's informative. Um, but uh, back to what I was saying. If you guys have any inverts, tarantulas, if you have uh, snakes, you know, scorpions, and you want me to show... You, it's got to be a feeding video, okay? And you want me to show your animals feeding on my platform and putting it with one of my feeding videos and giving you a ton of credit... And giving you, you know, your, you and your animal shout out. Make sure that you send that video clip to bookingtonyx at gmail.com. Okay? And to Deadly Tarantula Girls, another cool person. You know, her husband is cool. They've been in the hobby for a long time. And she breeds tarantulas a lot. Let me see what else I can grab for you. Okay, this kid here, his name is Exotic Liz. He probably has more subscribers in the tarantula world than anyone. And he definitely hasn't been doing tarantula videos longer than everyone that I know. But the kid has character. The kid has a ton of character. And sometimes these videos are really, really, really funny. So um, if you're younger and you really just want to see some, maybe some eating, some, some feeding videos. Here he goes. See that? That's a threat pose. Look, boom. Trans look. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. No, no. He has a lot of tarantulas. So this guy's, you know, you can tell he's young. You can hear in his voice. You can see by his hands. He's a young guy, but the guy's charismatic. All right, the fucking guy's charismatic. Um, and one of my favorite new channels is called The Dark Den. This guy's like overseas, and he speaks English. Of course, it's not it's not his first his first language. He's not, you know. It's not his first, his, his first language, first and native language is not English. And he does a fucking great job, man. The guy is charismatic. And I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, he's probably the, I probably watch him the most out of everybody. Hold on. He has half a million subscribers. So the fucking guy is doing real good for himself. But as you can see, I watch him a lot. Like you can go through the videos and you can see I watch him a lot. I, t I take I do watch the guy a lot because the guy's got charisma, man. The guy's charismatic. Um, he does do different shows with different people, but I watch him a lot because the guy is funny, man. The guy's funny. He's a funny guy. He has a beautiful setup uh, for his tarantulas, and like the guy's funny. So this is probably like. For entertainment purposes and, and for just wanting to see something that's cool, that's different, I watch The Dark Den a, 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 a great deal. I watch it a great deal. The guy is, he's funny. You know, he's funny. Now, I'm going to get into some pros and cons about this, uh, tr keeping tarantulas, and I'm going to talk to you guys about it before I end this live and I get out of this studio and I go into the rest of the condo to finish cleaning up because I have to make... Some some runs today. Not runs, <coughs> but some runs, okay? Um, the pros about this is that if you take the time, and although this book is now outdated and some of the species have been renamed, if you're going to get a tarantula, it's imperative that you get the tarantula's keeper's uh, guide. This is like the Bible for tarantula keepers. 
all right? Um, and in it, it, it still has a great deal of information in it that pertains to everything that's going on right now. And I believe that the tarantula I wanted to show you, that's a female, the Pocatharia um, regalis would be on the back. Um, I'm, I believe it's, this is a regalis on the back, but I could be wrong. Um, you can see that inside here, I have things highlighted because even still to this day, um, there are things in here that you need to learn. You see, I have stuff written down in here. Um, you see stuff is still highlighted in yellow back here is because these are species that I've, I've kept for a long time, species that I've raised for a long time. This teaches you a lot about different species, um, how to raise young. Uh, there's a lot of information in here and you just, you need to have this if you're going to, if you're going to get yourself a tarantula. All right. And for the last people that remain in my live, please do me a favor. Uh, I'm going to go in the comments before I end this, and I'm going to figure out who's in here, who's the seven, eight, because we had a whole bunch of people here, that, and they left. But I'm, I want you guys to write in your Instagram so I can screenshot it, so I can go in and I can give you guys a follow on social media. Um, so here's the pros and cons about this hobby, right? So the pros is, is that you, if you really care about these animals... Um, they are rewarding. They're rewarding in the sense that if you do breed these animals, there's a possibility you can make a lot of money off of them, um, depending on what you consider a lot of money. And there are people who have beautiful homes, big businesses, because they take the, the hobby and they actually turn it to a big business, you know, and they're doing their thing and they're making a shit ton of money. But you have to be very aware of who you are buying from. Okay, because there are people out there that will scam you. These pets are not cheap. They're not cheap. I showed you that there's a sling here that cost me $150. It's not an adult. It's a baby. This baby right here cost me $150. Hold on. So you can see the price tag is still on there. This cost me $150. For this small tarantula that's going to grow about the size of my hand. So the last thing you want is for someone to tell you that they have tarantulas and then you go to order from them and you're sending them thousands of dollars and you don't get anything back. I suggest that you do as much research as you can on the person that you're buying from. And you try your best to ascertain if, in fact, this person is legitimate or not. A good place to, uh, to source tarantulas is a forum. Of course, they have tons of Facebook pages and stuff like that that you can go to and check. But um, if I order from online, I try my best almost always to uh, find dealers that are in arachno boards. So what is arachno boards? Let me see. Let me pull this up for you. If I can close this damn bookmark. Close. Let me see something. It's like I can't close the bookmark. I don't know why it's like popping up like this. Or why the history has to show itself like this. Let me see if I do this. Okay, now it disappears doing this like this. All right, let me switch this around so I can show you. Okay. Here's Arachno Boards. Here's the name, Arachno Boards. Now, on here, you see I'm in the classified section. And in here, I'll be able to, you know, go on the classifieds. See who has tarantulas for sale and go in and see, you see they, they have a bunch here. Just people online selling them. Like, let's go through some prices of some, of some tarantulas. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let's log in. Okay. Now, this is their for sale list. These are unselect sex slings. So these are babies that are smaller than my pinky nail. $50. 
$120. These are for unselect sex babies. So you can see that the prices vary, but these animals are not cheap. Okay? So making sure that you buy from someone that you can trust. And I'm not saying you can buy from this guy because I haven't bought anything from him. I'm just showing you the prices of the tarantulas so you can see for yourself as, a, as to what they're going for. Because some people will tell you, oh, he's not being honest. So that's not true. And I don't want... These are babies for 225 225 175 and these animals can have hundreds of babies at one time that sell for this price. So I need you guys to understand that. Like, um, this hobby is not a cheap hobby to be in. It's a very expensive hobby to be in. Right now, we're not going to talk about anything political. But thank you for the, for the hit on Twitter. My team probably seen it, seen it. My staff probably seen it, and they're probably working on um, on looking at that and and probably giving you a retweet. Let me go back to this classified section. So on here, you're gonna find a ton of sellers. I appreciate the love. You're gonna find a ton of sellers that are up here. That um that they have, you know, just a bunch of tarantulas for sale. And like I said, these are babies. So someone is giving like an a inch and a quarter for $75. We have two slings this size right now that I'm going to show you that they're charging $75 for. And those are steals for, these, for this tarantula. Because I paid 100 for these because these are guaranteed females. So unsexed, not knowing if it's a female or not, someone is going to charge you in and around 80 bucks. Okay, so this is an expensive hobby. You don't want to get a tarantula if you don't really want to take care of the tarantula, raise a tarantula, and appreciate having this exotic animal. You don't want to get scammed by people because people scam people all the time in this hobby. And when you go on arachno boards, when you post something... Let's say if you say something and, and, and it's, not, it's not correct, you may not know everything. Because I'm not an expert, I'm experienced. There's a difference between being experienced and being an expert in something. Um, I know a great deal about tarantulas, but I don't know it all. And I'm, I'm learning something new every day, or at least I try to. You will have people that will attack you. That will say some pretty mean things to you because uh, they're pieces of crap. People who have um, no other outlet to be tough or be mean will find themselves on your page and in your comments saying some of the most rudest shit you've ever heard in your life, all because they can do it sitting from their homes. A lot of these people are, um, are great people. They are helpful. They're positive. But you will have, out of every 100, you'll have two assholes. OK, out of every uh, 1000, you'll have 10 assholes and there will be somebody there that will try to discredit you or try to make you, you know, feel discouraged about collecting tarantulas. And I'm going to tell you to hell with them. You don't have to listen to what they say. You don't have to care about what it is that they're saying. Um, you can try to learn the best you can and do the best job that you can. Remember, it's you that's spending this money on these tarantulas, not them. OK, so if you're spending uh, five hundred dollars. She's a $500 tarantula. This is a $500 tarantula right here, right? I paid $500 for her. I purchased her as an adult. That's $500. So if I spend $500 on a tarantula, there's no way in the world I'm going to allow anybody to tell me what I'm going to do with my $500. Of course, I want to take care of the animal to the best of my ability. But uh, it's kind of people pocket watching. You know, and you have to be mindful of that because you always have someone there that does it their way. And if you don't do it their way, then they'll try to attack you for it. There are a-holes in every single hobby that you can think of. All right. Now, what's the pros of having these animals? Well, if you like to have pets, I don't have to pet them. I don't have to walk them. I don't have to interact with them. Um, I can feed them, uh, depending from the slings, once a week to once uh, every two weeks. Uh, the adults once a month or maybe once every two weeks. So that means that you could literally leave for a week's vacation, feed them before you go and come back and your tarantulas will be as healthy as they were when you left them. These, uh, these animals are made to survive. They store water in their legs. 
They store uh, uh, food within their legs and they do so so they can continue to actually survive. These animals are built for survival. So that's the pros of it. The pros of it is that you're going to come across some really, really great people, man. Um, some people that will take the time out to talk to you, to help you out. You know, um, you'll have people who you probably thought was a leftist nut job and you saw them and looked at them and then you realize that they're really not that at all. They're just like really just cool as fucking down to earth. And they pretty much have the same love uh, for little murderers that you do because that's what they are. They're cold-blooded murderers and I love them. And I got 59 cold-blooded murderers in my home and we get along together. I love every last one of my tarantulas. And I can't wait to see the slings grow up. And, and I can't wait to see who becomes male and who becomes female. I can't wait to finish moving everything to the office in uh, Texas. So I can actually diversify this collection even more. Hopefully we'll have up to 100 uh, tarantulas there. And maybe 80 um, different species. That way we can get some great, um, um, some great breeding projects going along. What I'm going to do is, too, some of you will will be saying, I don't want a tarantula, but soon I'm going to be giving a tarantula giveaway. I'm going to be purchasing a tarantula from a trusted uh, dealer that I know, and I'm going to be sending a tarantula to you. So if you're a first-time keeper, I'm going to get you something that's good for uh, a first-time keeper. I'm not going to get you anything that's difficult, something that's going to run all over the place, anything like that. I'm going to get you something that's relatively just going to stay there and just wait for you to feed it something. Um, again, if you're a supporter of the channel and you got a snake, you got a, a, a Komodo dragon, I mean a monitor lizard, you have a bearded dragons and you have feeding videos that you think that are cool and you want me to see it and you want me to put it on the channel and give you shout outs at the end of my feeding videos, just simply send your videos to bookingtonyx at gmail.com. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go in this live. While I'm on on here with you, I'm gonna go on this live because we don't want people getting the we don't want people watching this afterwards and then hitting me up and saying that they were here. It's 16 of you now watching right now as I'm watching, or it says 19. So it's 19 of you watching. If you want me to follow your social media, type it in right now and start typing it in right now. So while I'm sitting here watching. I can screenshot this and I can go in and I can add you to my watch list. We had maybe a hundred people that we have to give follows back to this week. So while I'm in here, if you want me to give you a follow, please make sure you start writing it in right now. Do you handle tarantulas? Chris, I have handled tarantulas. I do handle them sometimes. Uh, sometimes I don't. The, the thing that you do is this. I have different size brushes. I have a long brush. And these are for tarantulas that like those thurifosterstermies that are hair kickers. Um, and I kind of brush them along or move them along. For, for her, if I wanted to handle her, I would probably touch her with my brush first to see if she gives me a threat pose or a reaction. And then most likely I would probably handle her. Um, and if I do handle her, it's probably because, you know, I probably got family members here, something like that. Maybe my kids might come. And um and I don't mind them kind of watching it crawl around or anything else. So I would just I would probably pick it up to kind of put it down, you know, let it walk around. But I've done so in the past. Okay, so we got Sleepy Chief on IG. We got Tara, Adel. Um, I need you guys to put it in because I'm about to get off, and as I get off, I'm going to be screenshotting this. And I want to be able to give uh, you guys a follow back that stayed tuned, uh, that stayed here, and that uh, continued to support and watch. So I got Sleepy Chief. Let me see. If it lets me screenshot, let me see. You know what? I'm going to make it easy on myself. I'm going to type in the chat right now my number. And you guys have, you guys have, because somebody watching this would have to watch this for like 40-something minutes now. So somebody watching this would have to, I'm sorry, wait, wait, before anybody said anything else, I'm going to put my number in the chat right now. Text your Instagram 
You already, already follow you on Instagram? That's good. That's good. So if I already follow you on Instagram, I'm already following you. You love me like I love you, right? Um, you got a baby boy. I want to start making feeding videos. When, as soon as you do a feeding video, as soon as you get it, send that to bookingtonyx at gmail.com. Send that video because I would like to put it with some feeding videos. And maybe I'll do a compilation of all you guys together, putting it together, and I'll give you guys the crazy shout out, and I would like to put your animals on my platform. Okay, so now I'm putting this in there. Now it's in the chat, right? I'm a pennant. Type your Instagram to this number right now. Right now. I'm going to be, and for the next 20, so right now, my time, it is 622-422. So that's in New York is 622. Right now in Colorado is 422. Okay. So at five o'clock, anything after 5 p.m., I will not be following those, those, those text messages. Unless it's something that I've already done from Instagram and they already have their own set everything. Um, Mushu, <laughs> that's a dope name. All right. Send your names to this number. Send it to me now. 614, you just called me. You're not supposed to call me. You're supposed to text and send the number. Come on. Come on now. We got to do better than that. Why am I live and you're calling me while I'm on live? Just think about that. Text your Instagram name, and I'm going to make sure 347, I got you. I see you. Thank you for paying attention. So anybody that sent it within the next 20 minutes, you guys are going to get a follow within the next 48 hours. I still got to get the rest of the names and put the names together to send it to my staff so they can go in and start following you guys on social media. You can go to my Instagram account and go to the very top, and in there, there's a link to my Telegram. You know the social media um, the, the oligarchs, the social media are just some pure racists. And if ever you have a difference of opinion than the one that they want you to have, they're going to try to control you and erase you. And I don't want to be, um, beholding to anybody. So soon I'm going to be just getting away off Instagram. I can give a, a hell out if it's a hundred and we had hundreds of thousands of followers. They removed them. We have 147,000. It might be 146,000 while I'm talking to you. They're removing a thousand of you every day. Okay, we were literally were supposed to have a million followers on Twitter, and my team watched every day as they took hundreds and hundreds and hundreds away, kept us at 250,000, and now we're under, I believe, 180,000 followers, if that. So, um, we got to get, we got to find a way to get rid of these people. And I don't want to be, you know, again, um, beholden to anybody. So, moving forward, this is what we're doing, but I will give you guys a follow. You send it to the number. I'm there for you. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I will be on here later. I'm waiting to get a text from Red Babies so I can have her come on the show. And if I can't get her on the show tonight, for sure I will have her on the show tomorrow. All right? I want to tell you guys thank you very much for taking the time out and looking at me and all my tarantulas and my spiders. For some of you, you might be kind of like, ah, that's not my thing, but I love this guy. I support him. And that's the reason why I go hard for you guys and I support you even more. And even as a, a United States senator, I will be a tarantula collector. I will have all of these tarantulas still. I will um, still be taking care of the people's business and still enjoying what little fun I can have out of life, which will be my exotic pets. All right. Respect to everybody watching this. I got a ton of love for you. Peace.